like a hell cut. So friends, in the previous video we have seen sums on no split domain. So basically f of x was equal to some value and x range from let's say p to q. Then it was very simple to solve sums. Now the question is split domain. What will happen? f of x is some value say p and the range is between a to b then it is some value q and range is between b to c and it is value some r when x is greater than c then how to solve them let's see so what is main difference in this uh, main difference was capital f of x means the cumulative distribution function this term is very important when you talk about splitted domains so let's see that so capital f of x is equal to now the problem here is uh, capital f of x ranges from 0 to 1 it cannot be greater than 1 all right so first we should know that now second point is for every range capital f of x will be different so these two are fixed like capital f of x all right uh, when it is less when it uh, let's say when small x is less than a so it is 0 when x is less than a similarly it is 1 when x is greater than c this will be also common in all capital f of x means the smallest and the greatest value of x so x is less than smallest value then capital f of x is 0 x is greater than greatest value of small x then capital f of x is 1 so it is simple now talk about the mid range mid range are a to b and b to c all right when we talk about x is between a to b then then capital f of x is equal to integral of a to b all right no it cannot be between a to b a to x why because uh, the formula of capital f of x is integral minus infinity to x so small f of x dx so this is the formula all right so when we take here we have to only know this lowest possible range so lowest range is a so a to x small f of x dx so this is for a to b range now let's talk about b to c range now note this this is very important b to c range why because here we get integral a to b small f of x dx plus integral b to x small f of x dx now why this because capital f of x ranges from 0 to 1 how 0 to 1 come like first the value 0 at 0 at x equal to 0 what is the uh, let's say what is the value right here so it is 0 when we move forward like then a would be 1 2 3 at 2 it will add both values 0 plus 1 all right when we talk about 3 it will add both 0 1 2 and 3 all right so happens what it when we go further like when x is 2 it will add the previous values that's why at the end x is greater than 1 we will get a constant 1 value so this is the previous value a to b so we have to add this all right and then lowest value as suggested in the formula so b to x f of x dx then we will get some answer so let's understand this by an example so our question is small f of x is equal to ax between range 0 to 1 then it is a between 1 to 2 then it is 3a minus ax between 2 to 3 and 0 otherwise all right so we have to find a and f of x so let's start solution so first step is to find a so find a 
if you recall the previous formula all right the previous formula was between minus infinity to infinity small f of x dx is equal to 1 from this we used to find the value of k all right now we have to find the value of a similar formula so but here what will happen from 0 to 1 like minus infinity to infinity will change from 0 to 3 but 0 to 3 the domains are split so 0 to 1 small f of x dx plus 1 to 2 small f of x dx now this would be f of x 1 f of x 2 why because here it will be ax here it will be a and so on so 2 to 3 small f of x dx and then it is 0 that's why equal to 1 after solving this we will get the value of a and the a here is half all right so this is f of x 3 both are different all right this both are different why because here there was only one value of f of x here we have three values so we have to substitute ax here a here and 3a minus ax in this all right so then we will get the value of a as half now the important part is capital f of x then it is also simple like when we go for x less than 0 then it will be 0 all right when we talk about x greater than 3 then it will be 1 so now what we have to find we have to find this 3 domain so what will be the f of x in this 3 domain all right so when we talk about 0 to 1 capital f of x is equal to 0 to x why because lowest limit is 0 so the formula here was minus infinity to x that's why 0 to x small f of x dx and the answer is x square by 4 all right when we go further then add the previous one all right add the previous one so the previous one is 0 to 1 small f of x dx plus then go for the lowest limit what will be the lowest limit sorry it is 1 to 2 we are going for the second domain so 1 to 2 so the lowest limit is 1 then x f of x dx why we use this x because we always want this equation in x we want equation in x that's why the highest limit is x so and the third domain is 2 to 3 so when we find 2 to 3 what will happen we have to add this both so 0 to 1 f of x dx plus 1 to 2 f of x dx plus plus what plus now the lowest limit is 2 and then we have to write x f of x dx and the answer here is 3 by 2 x minus 5 by 4 minus x square by 4 all right so what will happen here is here also there is answer and the answer is x by 2 minus 1 by 4 all right so we have found less than 0 value greater than 3 value and this 3 so this is capital f of x and this is finding a now let's take an example where we can plot some graph so let's take uh, one question and the question is small f of x is equal to k times c e raised to minus mod of x all right now we have to first find k so now mod uh, x means what see it can be splitted all right so from one we can go for splitted domain how because k is equal to this and k is equal to uh, sorry you can write this as capital f of x is equal to k times e raised to uh, e raised to minus x when x is greater than 0 and k times e raised to plus x when x is less than 0 what will happen when k is positive e raised to minus x when k is negative e raised to plus x so now you can see we got the splitted domain uh, f of x so finding k so now the limits are minus infinity to 0 why because less than 0 all right so the lowest limit is minus infinity to 0 f of x dx and this value will come for f of x all right then 
जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी वाई बिकॉज ग्रेटर देन जीरो सो जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी एफ ऑफ एक्स फॉर एफ ऑफ एक्स दिस वैल्यू विल कम डी एक्स और राइट सो एफ एफ वन ऑफ एक्स इज दिस एंड एफ टू ऑफ एक्स इज दिस आफ्टर सॉल्विंग दिस यू विल गेट द आंसर एंड द आंसर इज हाफ सेकेंड नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू फाइंड एज एज आई सजेस्टेड दिस क्वेश्चन इज टू ड्रॉ दिस स्केच फॉर स्मॉल एफ ऑफ एक्स एंड कैपिटल एफ ऑफ एक्स सो नाउ यू कैन फाइंड द कैपिटल एफ ऑफ एक्स सो वॉट इज कैपिटल एफ ऑफ एक्स फर्स्ट वील सी फॉर एक्स लेस देन जीरो वॉट विल हैपन ऑल राइट सो द लिमिट्स लिमिट्स आर बिटवीन माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू एक्स बिकॉज द लोएस्ट लिमिट वी डोंट नो सो इट इज माइनस इन्फिनिटी एंड हाइस्ट लिमिट इज ऑलवेज एक्स वाई एक्स बिकॉज वी हैव टू गेट द इक्वेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्स ऑल राइट सो एक्स डी एक्स नाउ अगेन दिस एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इज दिस एंड नॉट दिस ऑल राइट and not the upper one it's the lower one so after solving this you will get half e raised to x now we are going for the second this was the first this is second all right again now what is the lowest limit and what is the highest limit so you will say if your lowest limit is 0 highest limit is x this is true but as i said we have to add the previous one all right so here it is right and this f of x here will be k into e raised to minus x why because greater than 0 but we have to add we have to add what we have to add the previous one all right and the previous one is minus infinity to 0 all right this range is from minus infinity to 0 f of x dx and this f of x is this value less than 0 part all right after solving this you will get 1 minus half e raised to minus x now how we can plot this see this is x this is capital f of x now you can see less than 0 it is half e raised to x e raised to x is a increasing curve all right so when we talk about x less than 0 means this side all right and it is increasing curve but up till what when x is equal to 0 it will be what so substitute x equal to 0 so answer we get is half all right so when x equal to 0 we get half so it will end here at half then what we have is this so just imagine that x is greater than 0 what will happen when x is greater than 0 all right uh, x is let's say infinity what will happen 1 by 2 e raised to infinity fair enough this means it will tend to zero means we will get only one and that's what we said it will always range between 0 to 1 what will range between 0 to 1 capital f of x so this side means x greater than 0 and it can be up to infinity this means the graph will end at highest maximum value is here is 1 so you can plot here 1 it will it will not extend the range so you can see the range is between 0 to 1 all right now now plotting small f of x all right let's take the axis here small f of x now when we go for x less than 0 and x greater than 0 how will the curve look so you can see this when x is less than 0 it is increasing all right and when x is greater than 0 x is negative means the decreasing curve so decreasing curve so this is e raised to minus x curve and k is half and this is half times because k is half and e raised to plus x and this is increasing this is decreasing so you can see this sketch of this and this this is small f of x this means the probability density function this is capital f of x this means the probability uh, sorry uh, cumulative distribution function and the range is between 0 to 1 here it can be any range to friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho 
देन डू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिंग जैन पीस आउट